Well, right, ladies and gents, I've been uh, obviously speaking to Dave, and he is of the same mindset. I change over jackets, so I've got two or three ones, and mostly I'll come out for a day in the woods. It's happened today. Uh, we needed some paracord, and I've got a big wedge of paracord uh, in one of my smocks, the different smocks. So my idea is uh, about a lot of pocket tidy. Used to have, used to do it in the army. Used to be, used to be folded up in an IPK bag. But without further ado, ladies and gents, uh, on me now I've got three pocket tidies that will mean I can quickly change from one jacket to the, to the next. So I've always got the essential stuff I need um, when I'm coming out for the day or longer. Uh, first one, and these ain't the biggest uh, top pockets in the uh, world either, is, and I'll show you these closer up, these are what David Fares is uh, sort of come to uh, make and design a uh, pocket tidy. I'll show you what's in there, because they are like TARDISes and that ladies and gents, but the idea is you, it's all there in one lot, okay, um, you can rope it down to your pocket so you don't lose it, which I will do and on that um, it's a pocket tidy so it goes anywhere you want it to go but what i did last night so i've not had them very long and i did um me and david did do a dibble on these i haven't got them for nothing i'm not trying to punt out his kit but uh, i've also had the ability now to uh, change that into a uh, neck pouch if i need to and again i don't need to insult anybody's intelligence with that uh, the two things i can adjust it up and down and i normally put it in a figure of eight knot just put an elastic band tuck it in there so that will go into any pocket of any jacket that I'm wearing at the time and normally I tidy that away but there we go ladies and gents that's got all my essentials my fire steel fire lighting kit um, loads of stuff I'll show you what I'll keep in there because it's still flat but you just get a load of kit in there um, and there's the other one inside right round there so it's not touching me again that one could go in that pocket or any other pocket on the jacket there's another one, that's what I call my sticky situation pouch on my necessaries. And I'll show you what's in that one. But I'll say me and David have done a, a dibble on these. Um, I'll give them a load of rations. Or even in any pocket, anywhere you want, because that's itself is a small first aid kit, ladies and gents. So I'll bring you in closer to have a look at these. Let your eyes be your guide. I bought these because I want them. Uh, and I'm proper getting on well with these. These are now part of my everyday bushcraft carry. So it's a little pocket tidies. Right ladies and gents, here we see uh, all the three pouches. Um, I think David's got them the right size, they'll fit in any top pocket, zip pocket or as I said, trouser leg pocket. And obviously they've got the tabs on so you can, um, you know, you use them to time to your pocket. Because anything in there you wouldn't really want to use, lose ladies and gents. Something you always want with you and it keeps it all in the one place. Um, also means, just for me, I can just change all the stuff I want to be taking out and keeping in my jacket. Uh, whatever jacket I'm wearing because it's now easily to organise and it just comes down to that, that thing David's got about having your kit organised and uh, everything in its place. Right so I'll just show you and this isn't definitive because I haven't had them a great deal but this is my most important one. Uh, like I said I've rigged it up so it can be a necktie. Um, you go around your neck and be a neck pouch ladies and gents. So I'll whip that bit of elastic off and I'll chuck that string out of the way. Um, the zip comes down from the top so you're not going to lose stuff out the bottom. This is just a random show of stuff I've got inside of here. And I've got a knife. I've got a zillion one of these firelighter things. Uh, I swear by these, Tiger Tims. In there, it's made it into my top pocket kit, a fire blower. Uh, there is a um, fire steel. A whistle. Loads more. Oh yeah. Hey, how many times have you wanted a tin opener? <laughs> but it's there, it's all in one place, grab and go. And also, I have my uh, Soto lighter in there, ready to go. Um, so, And that's me most. I've got a few more little bits I want to put in there. Um, but it just all goes in there. So this is what I'd want in my top pocket at any time, ladies and gents. And these things are just like little pillars. But one of them will get a fire going in any situation from a fire steel. And my little knife in there. So that's it ladies and gents, and that goes from jacket to jacket, and I can also, any of them you can have as a neck pouch. Right, quickly, because I don't want to bore you to death, this is an important one for me. Uh, I have my first aid kit, but 
you're always going to be away from somewhere where you injure yourself, yeah? But it's always in your jacket, your jacket hardly ever comes off. Red tab denoting first aid. Slightly different because they're on island. Bearing in mind, we all know David uses military grade stuff. There's nothing, this is all top, top of the range materials. Inside here is my little mini first aid kit. So there's alcohol wipes and you can also start fires with them. There is a triangular bandage. Now, all old soldiers and proper first aiders know you can do a zillion things with a triangular bandage. Oh, some uh, alcohol cleaning wipes. No worries. Have low, you can never have too many of them. Um, proper plaster kit. And again, oh, some more cle wound cleaning wipes. Bear in mind, one spark and they'll get your fire going. Some more um, plasters in there. This is just one I want to be mooching about with, ladies and gents. It hardly weighs anything. And as we see in here is two of the smaller but more than adequate Israeli dressings. And I've done a film on them already. I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll stick a link to these if you've not seen these before. Must have, ladies and gents. Must have if you're using sharps of any kind. Now, there we go. Uh, before I put all that back, but you see how the pouches are like TARDISes. And again, that just went in my top pocket or the side pocket. Uh, or as you say, if you don't want, you don't like too much in your pockets, in the top of your burger. And I'll show you, uh, you know, how I, how I would do that if I was changing over all the time. But literally, all that kit goes into there. You always carry in a first aid kit. You've probably got another one in your burger. And it's uh, just coping all eventualities. And that goes in that little pouch like that. Oh. Sorry, there was one thing in there as well. Now it's seen me a little bit. I'm mean, careful not to change the blade, but in there is one of them little cheap knives. But again, uh, for the weight and the size, there's a lot of blade length there. Very, very sharp if you need to cut anything. Or, you know, if that's all I had, and I, I could actually shave down timbers with that type of stuff. Make feather sticks to get a fire going. But that's in there and that as well. Um, all my bigger ones, I've got tough cut scissors in there. But it's, it's too big and too bulky to be carrying about. Um, right, I'm going to pack this away and bring you back for the next one. There we go, ladies and gents. That's the medical one, immediate first aid. Uh, cuts and that. Um, this fits in the pocket nicely and means I can change it over from one jacket to the next. Somebody's just pointed out, make a nice little pouch for inside of your jacket. Uh, Skadoran Island is waterproof. Um, make a nice little... Uh, protection pouch for a phone. There you go. Let your eyes be your guide because you can put a zillion things in these. And it's not for me telling you what you should have in them. This is just what I've done them. Anyway, that's my first aid kit one. We seem to be necessary. Now this, I'm not really sure what to call this. This is my um, pocket. Always have with me. Get you out of a difficult situation pouch. So we'll have a little look inside of it. By no means exhausted. I've thrown a few things in. Oh, the Tiger Tims. I always swear by these, and as you know, I throw them in anywhere to take up a little bit of space. Now here we see one foil blanket. Now this is an actual shelter because when you make the lean-to shelter with the pieces of wood, ladies gents, if you wind this in and out of it, it actually waterproofs your shelter. Okay, and that's one of the high-quality ones, not the ones you get off um, um, AliExpress. Oh. Oh, oh, right, Pure tabs, loads of Pure tabs in there, so I've got instant way of purifying water, okay, and some more um, alcohol dressings. On now on the inside here, again, uh, there's another foil blanket, another good make, this would be one I'd perhaps roll up and keep myself warm, that one being a roof to, to waterproof any shelter, uh, and I've been taught how to do that. Uh, what I do want to show... And again, you get an amazing amount, they're like TARDISes. Again, you can never have too many um, water purification tablets. And in here, ladies and gents, I'll, this is a must do, you must do. There are five surgical blades, the Swan Norton, uh, all sealed, ready to go. They'll be okay to open in 25 years. They're stainless steel and they're the sharpest things um, that you can have. I do have one more set of these inside with me trying triangular bandage in there but ladies and gents uh, let your eyes be your guide on that how much room does that take off but that may be the only knife or sharp implement I've got on me at the time and uh, oh there's a ladies doodah um, but uh, yeah they're brilliant for um, making fires with and inside here um, is an emerg adult emergency poncho to keep me dry, keep the wind off me, keep the weather. It's a blue one. I'm not worried about the colour. Um, it folds down nice and small. And also that could be used, um, set up so you can get yourself out of the wind and out of the rain. You could use that to make a, a very improvised short-term shelter. And again, 
uh, a little compass in there. Some of the, a load of um, the uh, 25 meters of the nano cord I put in there on a little um, reeler, and uh, there's another waterproof bag. Oh, these keep appearing, don't they, ladies and gents? There's a big good reason. Um, a very, very sharp blade. Now, the idea is you're probably going to have your knife with you, but never ever underestimate the power of always carry systems redundancies okay um, never be caught out without a uh, sharp blade and as long as you don't touch them blades they, they're, they're okay they won't go rusty and uh, obviously water carrier ladies and gents you've all seen these the old decent ones not the cheapy ones ziplock bags because gone are the days where you use the condom and the old army kits you know I'll carry a pint of water in there if need be uh, in one of my lower pockets sealed up so that's not a definitive um, look and see to what should go into one of these bags. This is mine. You, you let your eyes be your guys. You put your stuff in there. But as you can see, ladies and gents, it, these things are just like um, TARDISes. So I've got the ability to make improvised shelters, keep myself dry, purify water, get a fire going with the old uh, alcohol wipes and so forth. And Tiger Tim's, oh, wouldn't go anywhere. Um, a tampon and some sharp blades again you can't never have enough sharp blades and if i needed to cut something out of a wound or i'm not dr Javago, but at least you've got the ability to have something that's sterile and very very sharp so there's david's uh, pocket tidies and that's what i make of them um they're not definitive yet ladies and gents but uh, they soon will be um and again any of these can be turned into a neck pouch and they'll go in any pocket i think you've just got the size right and the capacity right as you can see i'm leaving that there because that's just that does actually disappear into there and uh just to see what marty says there my oh, sorry taking it off screen but yep there's it is just easier for me to do it if you wanted a, a robust little protection for your uh your mobile phone in there job done right ladies and gents yeah uh, let your eyes be your guide if you like these uh, i have um me and david frears have done a dibble on these give them a big big old wedge of rations in, in exchange because he always goes no 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 you aren't you're a mate and i go no so we've had a dibble so i've, I've paid me money for these ladies and gents. let your eyes be your guide i just think they're a cracking bit of kit uh, don't want to big him up but i think he's just got the size right and the ability right i mean before this i used to use um uh, pistol ammunition pouches with all the clips and the buckles on them these are just so better so so better so much more better anyway ladies and gents let your eyes be your guide on this yeah. and uh, as always i appreciate you taking the time to watch right then ladies and gents let your eyes be your guide no skin off my nose but I know a good thing when I see one. Always with me, always got it when I need it. Let your eyes be your guide. Right, ladies and gents, uh, again, you don't have to put this stuff in your pocket, it's all to do with um, like David's modular system. But I prefer to cook, um, carry it in a jacket. <laughs> Top flap of a Bergen. All your necessaries, all in one place, tidy and easy to get at when you need it, ladies and gents. Job done.